Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite apps for widgets on the iPad. So these are apps that I actually recently found. Um, I went into a deep dive searching for different types of widgets and things to make your iPad just look better. And there are so many cute apps and widgets out there that can make your iPad just feel so much better. So yeah, that's what we're sharing with you guys in today's video, just the apps that I found that I really like that I think you'll like as well. So this is how I set up my home screen to show you guys all the different apps that I have and the widgets that I have for these apps. I wanted to give them all on one screen for you guys so you can clearly see the app and the widget. As you can see, we have eight different apps here with widgets. So I'm gonna be going through the apps and showing you with you guys how they work, what their functions are, and the looks of widgets that you have for each app. Some of these are dedicated widget apps and some of these are just apps that have cool widgets. So there is a difference, um, but yeah, we're gonna be going through them. So the first app I'm gonna be covering is Focus Habit. This is this one here. And it has this little cute icon of a cat on it. And this is the widget that accompanies it. So this is a habit tracking app. So I'm gonna go into the app and share with you guys like what it, how it looks. So here you can see it has a great UI. I really love it. Um, and as you can see, it says today's focuses and those are areas that you can add things, but you can also go to habits here and add some habits. So you can just click on the plus button, add a habit. Um, so if you wanna read your book today or read, just say read, um, you can go there. You can choose the color for each um, habit. You can go to this icon here and choose um, a little icon that you want to have for it. That's what I really like as well. It's very customizable. And then you can set it whether it should be a recurring um, habit, single, many times a day. Um, and then you can add a quote, things like that. Um, and then once you're done, you can click on done in the top right corner. And then it does give you a quote, but you can enter your own quote as well. And then you'll see you have that here in your widget. So that is Focus Habit. You can play around with the app more, but it's a really cute widget that you can have on your home screen. And once you have completed a habit, you can go ahead and go into the app, tap on the completed um, habit that you did, and then you'll see it will change to the color that you selected. So if all your habits are done after a day, it also looks pretty cool with all the colors that they have there. The next app I have here is Bears. This is a countdown app for a certain date. So as you can see, three days left to dinner. So if you have a dinner, a specific date, a event, a graduation, whatever, you can go into Bears and create a countdown for that event. So they have some presets that they just give you here that you can choose from, home, event, history. Um, you have a few here that you can choose from. Um, and then, so say you have a movie night coming up. Um, movies at home, album with friends, popcorn. So maybe you're going to the movies with your family. You can choose that one, um, click on use, and then you have to set the date for it. Um, and then you can also set the graphic for it here. And once you're done, you can just add that. And then you can just edit your widget or use your widget and set the desired bears countdown. So as you can see, I have three different ones here, but I'm just gonna go with dinner, and then that was the one that is set for how many days ever. You can also let it cycle through the event. So if you have more than one event, you can go ahead and let it cycle through the last five events that you've added. Um, so then it won't just be the one event that will be countdown. Um, the widget will change um, throughout the day. Next app I have here is Emolog. This is one that I recently found and I think it's pretty cute and I think you guys would like it as well. So this is a mood tracker. Um, when you go into the app, you'll see it's not optimized for iPad because the sizing is a bit weird. Um, but basically you just track your mood every single day. Um, and then mostly this is more for the aesthetics. I think maybe you'll find it helpful, but also you can have a cute widget here as well as you can see. You'll see they have different size widgets for this as well. So you can have your whole month in a view um, on a widget as well. So that is also cool. But um, yeah, so that's email log, just a mood tracker app that you can have and it has some cute graphics. You can pay for some even cuter ones. Um, but yeah, that is email log. The next app I have here is very minimal. It's called Flip Clock. The app itself is all right. I mean, it has it has its functionality of being a flip clock on your iPad. It just has a lot of ads. Um, but what I basically um, think this will be helpful for is adding a cute little flip clock widget here. Um, it's very, very retro look and I really like it. So it just gives you the date and also the time um, in this little flip clock format. So that is what the widget looks like. And obviously you can have a bigger widget or a smaller widget for it. Here you can see I have huge ones here, um, ones with dates. Um, so they have a few you can choose from here. But yeah, that's how the flip clock widget looks. And um, it's just a very nice app 
and it's free so you can add that there next app is something that actually costs money they have a free version but the free version is basically the same as flip clock um, it just has that look to it so here you can see md clock the classical so this is the free version um, it looks basically like flip clock um, so you can just use that if you want um, but what they do have is very cute um, 8-bit graphics that looks really nice so they have this one here as well which is also some of their paid um, versions of things you can add um, the 8-bit graphics I think is the most popular so as you can see you can have little 8-bit characters or you can use the time here are, is the example if you have like a medium widget or a larger widget they have the character and the time there um, so yeah this is a really really nice widget and it's very cute so if that's something you're interested in, I'm gonna go into the app and share with you guys like how it works. I'm gonna go into MD Clock. So here you can see the different styles of clocks that they have. You just go and scroll through here. Um, maybe there's something else that you also like here, but um, like I said, I think the um, 8-bit is the most popular. This is also really nice, these little stencil-like ones. So yeah, you can choose which ones you like. Like I said, this is also a cool one. Here you can see the different characters that you have. Um, so you can easily just go ahead and tap on your widget, click on edit widget and choose the character that you want. So if I want this one, you can do that. And it is animated as you can see, but if that is something that you don't want, you want to turn that off, you can just go ahead and go into edit widget and then just turn off the animation and then it won't show you the animation and it will just be the character on your um, little widget so this is a very cute app and um, it adds a lot I think to your iPad if you add this but yeah that is the MD clock app like I said they have other types of widgets this is just my favorite one next up I have here photo widget photo widget is a designated widget app um, they do have some app icons as well that you can choose from and themes that you can install on your phone. You'll see the wallpapers that they have here are all sized for iPhone. You can use some of them for iPad, it's just more optimized for iPhone. Um, but here you can see I have this widget here at the bottom, this huge one, um, which has a to-do list on it um, and just a calendar that is from Photo Widget, but they have so many different types of widgets. So um, here is the app, the main screen is theme. So here you can see different themes for your iPhone that you can install through photo widget then you have widget which has a bunch of different types of widgets that you can choose from um, this is one I use but then you can go in and edit the color the font um, the list that you have on here you can also edit here you can see they have different sizes of each widget and they just have so many to choose from if you have different styles that you like on your phone um, different things like here's the battery percentage that you can add just photos if you want just have photos on it um, you can go through a photo widget and just really find the theme that you want for your phone or iPad for this case and I really recommend checking it out. Like I said, it is editable, so you can go ahead and add in your own photo if you don't want to use the photo that they give you and you just want to use the format, or you can just adjust the fonts, the styles, um, different things like that, and then you can save that to your widgets and then it will be saved to your home screen when you add in the widget from um, Photo Widgets Widgets section. Next up I have here is Smile To Do. So this is also a very cute to-do list app that you can have on your home screen on a widget. So here you can see this is what the widget looks like. And um, it is a very, very cute widget also, um, and also very minimal as well. You can go into the app and here you can add in all your to-dos that you have. It's very minimal and easy to um, get to know the app. Um, you can have different views, so today view, and get then habits um, and other things like that. But then, yeah, you just add in all your to-dos here. And once you're finished with the to-do, so say I'm finished filming my video, then you'll see it gives it a tick on the widget itself as well. So you can easily see what you still have to do for the day on your widget. So you have bigger widgets as well, which will give you options for more to-dos to see at once. Um, but yeah, that is Smile To Do, very cute app and very nice widget. Then next up we have Top Widget, which is another widget app like Photo Widget, which focuses mainly on adding widgets to your phone or your iPad or whatever. So this one here is a widget that I added. Um, and you also have the option for transparent backgrounds with this app. So what that means is as you can see, my widget looks like it has no background, but it actually does. Um, but it just add, uses your wallpaper as reference to add in a transparent background. So how you get that effect, because that's one of the best and most 
use things for this is you hold down on your screen go to a blank screen and take a screenshot of your wallpaper and then you go into top widget go to transparent here in the top and then you just um, import your screenshot that you just took of your home screen and then it will have that you can also switch to landscape mode but the only problem with this is on ipad if you turn your ipad landscape then the whole thing doesn't move with it so that really sucks so if i am in this view and i now turn my ipad landscape you'll see it just doesn't match anymore it doesn't match the wallpaper anymore which really is sad but um yeah that is how you just set up transparent widgets in top widget but moving on from that as you can see top widget has a bunch of widgets that they have here um, that you can add to your home screen so they have these x panels which give you all the information about your device that you're using your battery percentage storage um, which ios you're on or ipad os you're on um, then they have these little quick launch which is here, which you can edit. So this is what I have here on my iPad. So what you can do is you select the apps which appear on your quick launch widget. So how it works is you add that quick launch widget to your home screen, you edit the apps that are visible on it. So make sure it's apps that are installed on your device, obviously. And then when you tap on one of the apps, it will open up that app for you. For the first time that you, when you do it, it's gonna ask you for permission to open the app, but after that, it will just go ahead and open the app for you automatically. So that's a quick way to add in a quick launch to your iPad, and it's super nice, but they have different looks of it as well. So this one is very popular as well, I know. So you can just tap on the app, and then they have a list of apps that are available that you can add on in the place of whatever app it is that it gives you. So you can edit it, it's very customizable. And then you have your own little quick launcher on your iPad screen. It's very nice, it's very convenient, but Top Widget has other capabilities as well. Um, so as you can see, they have other types like photo, um, to-do lists also they have here, different looks and that you can just edit within the app. Um, clock widgets they also have then here at the bottom you'll see icon they have some icon packs that they have so you have different themes they can install on your phone which is all really really nice and easy for if you have your iphone that you want to set up then wallpapers they also have a few um, that they can choose from go through their library of wallpapers if you want something good for your ipad so yeah, if you have iPhone or iPad, I recommend checking out Top Widgets. They have some very functional and good looking widgets on their apps. So yeah, that's definitely one of my top apps that I recommend for you guys to check out for widgets. So yeah, those were the eight apps that I wanted to share with you guys for widgets on your iPad. These are very fun widgets. Some of these are very functional. Some of these just look very nice. So you can choose whichever one you find worth it to install and try out but I will have links in the description box below if you wanna check out any of these um, and definitely go just try them out and let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below. If you did find this video helpful and you found a widget that would work for you, give this video a thumbs up, it really does help out a lot and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related videos like this and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time, bye.